thrilled that I get to talk to you again and that we get to make some fun art lessons together. And so, as you can see with my board right here, this is Art with Mrs. Norton. I thank my girls for making that for me. They did such a good job on it. So usually when you come to art, you have your own art day, right? Like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. Well, from now on, we're gonna be putting up art videos on Tuesday, but you can watch them any day of the week. So guess what? Any day is gonna be art day with Miss Norton, whatever works for your schedule. I can't wait to get to make some things with you guys and to get to see what you are making. I'll give some instructions later. If you want to share with me what you're creating, I would love to see it and I'll give some instructions later for your parents, where they can send it so that we can share in all this fun artwork that we're making together. Guys, I'm so thrilled and excited to get to do this with you. I'm in my home studio and you are in your home studio, whether that's your kitchen table or your couch or your bed or the floor, anywhere can be an art studio, can it, boys and girls? So today we're gonna get started with something really wild and crazy and fun. We are going to be making Mm, kind of a self-portrait, but I'm going to explain to you a little bit more about what it's going to look like. I can't wait to create with you guys today. Thank All right, you guys. I made this fabulous self-portrait. <gasps> Do you don't, you don't think it looks like me? Wait, you don't think that looks like me? Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> it does look like me, but something's a little bit different about this. We're going to be talking about how to make these today. And guess what? It involves closing our eyes. Are you ready? All right, keep watching. Okay, so I have my sketchbook because today I wanna teach you about contour lines. So this C word right here is contour and then line. So what a contour line is, is basically just an outline of an object. And it's what artists do when they just want to draw the outline of an object, they call it the contour line. And the best way to do that is by looking at something and letting your eye kind of trace around it and your pen kind of traces around it on your paper at the same time. You'll see what I mean when I show you. Now today for an example, I have a little L LOL friends. Anybody out there love LOLs? If you're like my girls, I bet you do. Um, and even if you don't love them, you know what they are, right? So this cute little LOL, I picked her because I thought she was so adorable with her primary colors and her dress looks like a Mondrian painting. You may have to Google that. Maybe a research project for you this week. Anyway, but I picked her out because I want to show you what it looks like when you draw a contour line by using our little LOL friend, okay? So I'm gonna lay her down right there so I can look at her while I draw. And when you make a contour line, you are looking at your object and you are drawing at the same time. So at the same time, I'm tracing around with my eye. I am moving my pen the same way and tracing around. That's how we make contour lines, isn't that fun? All right, so I'm gonna look at my little LOL. I'm just using a pen, so it's okay if I mess up. I'm not really concerned about it. And I'm just going to start looking at her, and then I'm gonna start making the outline, the contour lines of what I see. Now with contour lines, it's important that you are looking. You have to look at something so you know what you are seeing. Am I right? If I wasn't looking at this LOL, I would not know what to draw. All right, so then she's got these big <laughs> circle eyes and they may not be in the right place, but that is okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want you to try your what? Best. Now, if you wanna practice along with me, after I do this part of the video, just pause it and you can pick out any little toy or even like a remote control or anything that you want to practice making a contour line with because you're gonna be looking at it and drawing, all right? And then she's got a little nose, which is like just a little boop, like a little uh, oval if I were drawing the outline. And then she's got uh, a lip up at the top. Ooh, this may look crazy by the time we're done. 
and the lip down at the bottom. All right. Now she's got, this one has a little line down here because her hair is kind of split and she's got some lines that go up like this. Now I could keep going and draw the rest of her body, but I'm not gonna do that because I want to show you what the whole point of learning about this is today. All right, so there's my little contour outline of her face. Is it perfect? No, but is it okay? Yes. All right, so today we are going to be making contour lines, but we're adding something to that. We're going to be making one step further and we're going to be making blind contour line drawings. Now in art, we call blind contour lines when we are not looking at the paper. Blind means that we can't see, right? So in art sometimes, for drawing practice, we make blind contour line drawings. Why in the world would you do that? That sounds crazy, right? Guess what? You can come up with some really amazing artwork when you don't even look at the paper. You don't trust me yet? You should trust me. You should know this is going to be a lot of fun, right? So if I need to make a blind contour line drawing, I'm going to need to close my eyes. I could put a blindfold on or something like that, but the easiest thing I can do is close my eyes, right? You, we all can do that. Now, look at my little friend here. So I already looked at her and drew her, but now I'm gonna remember her while I close my eyes and I'm going to draw her again with my eyes closed. Are you ready to see what this looks like? All right, just trust me, I'm closing my eyes, okay? And I am going to start drawing what I remember, which was a round face, and then she had some bangs, and her hair kind of came out on the sides like a triangle, and she had lines in her hair. Of course, I can't see, so I don't know exactly where I'm putting it, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> and then she had two circle eyes. I'm gonna finish this circle first with its two little ones, and then she had another eye. And then, what do we say? A little oval shape for the nose, and then a little top lip, and a little bottom lip. All right, I'm gonna open my eyes, you guys. How fun is that? <laughs> That's crazy! But, here's what I want you to notice, okay? So, this drawing is really fun and interesting just because it's, a, it's an outline of something that we know, a contour line drawing. But look how cool this is. Now, does it look a little bit crazy? Yes, but we can take this and we can turn this into some really fabulous artwork. So today what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be drawing a picture of yourself. So I use our little LOL friend to draw her face, but you are going to be drawing a self-portrait, a blind contour line self-portrait, and we're gonna see what kind of amazing, fun, wacky, interesting results that we can come up with. All right, so now we're ready to draw these crazy blind contour self-portraits. And I just pulled a piece of paper out of a sketchbook that I had, but I know at your house, you may have lots of different kinds of paper. Any kind of paper is great. Even if it is something that you already drew on one side, you can just flip it over and draw something on the back, or maybe your mom or dad have some extra paper lying around that the back is empty, notebook paper, anything like that would be great, okay? Now, remember, this is a blind contour drawing, so I cannot look at this piece of paper. I'm gonna close my eyes while I'm drawing today. You can't see me, so you're just gonna have to trust that my eyes are closed. I think you're gonna be able to tell though once I start drawing that I cannot see what I'm looking at. All right, I'm using a pencil because since I'm gonna have my eyes closed, I don't wanna use a permanent marker or anything that might make a mark if I go off the page. So a pencil is probably good for this. All right, so now I am going to close my eyes. Just trust me, they're closed. And I'm kind of feeling my paper so I know where the top and the sides are. And then I'm gonna think about how I can draw a face, especially how I can draw myself, right? This is a self-portrait. So when you do yours, you're gonna be thinking about what you look like. All right, so I'm coming over here to what I feel like is the middle of the paper, and I'm gonna start with a head shape. Now remember, a head shape is kind of like a oval 
or like an egg. So I've got that in there. And I'm going to keep my pencil still where I stopped. And that's going to help me kind of know where I am instead of moving my hand off the paper. If I move my hand off the paper, I might forget where I was, okay? So I'm going to now make two eyes. So I'm going to come over to where I feel like maybe one of my eyes needs to be. And eyes are kind of a football shape, right? Or a lemon, and we have a pupil, we have an iris, that's our eye color, and then the pupil is the black circle in the middle. And then we need, I'm gonna put some eyelashes on mine. Don't know where these are ending up, but that's all right. And then I'm gonna scoot over a little bit, hopefully. <laughs> and I'm gonna draw my other eye. Remember that kind of football shape or lemon shape? Or you know what? You draw it how you choose. This is your self-portrait, so if you want to make it a certain way, you can. All right, see, I'm keeping my pencil kind of still after everything that I draw, so I hopefully keep in the same place. Okay, now then, I'm ready to make a nose, and there are lots of different ways that you could draw a nose. I think I'm, just for this, I'm going to make a long line kind of with a hook on the end. So if my eye is about right here, because I didn't move my pencil, I'm gonna scoot over a little bit. And I'm gonna draw a line with a hook at the bottom. Okay, hopefully that's a nose. <laughs> now, right underneath the nose, I'm going to draw a mouth. So I think I'm under the nose now, and I'm going to draw in um, a smile. I want to be smiling in this picture. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I'm smiling. <laughs> Maybe I look kind of scary, I don't know, my eyes are closed. All right, now I wanna think about my hair. Now this is gonna be a little trickier because now I'm at the bottom of my face and I need to go back up. So I can kinda of use my hand if I want to. Or guys, if you wanna make this even more silly, you don't even have to use your hand to guide you. You can just draw and see how crazy it ends up, right? All right, so I'm gonna come up where I believe is kinda of above my eyes and I'm gonna draw in my bangs because remember we're drawing ourselves and I have bangs. And then I need to draw the shape of my hair. I'm gonna make it come down. Who knows, maybe I've drawn myself with like super crazy long hair. I don't have super crazy long hair, but maybe I do in this picture. <laughs> All right, now I'm down at the bottom of my hair. I want to draw my neck. And so the neck is just gonna be two lines. So one, two, and then I can draw a shirt by making a curved line and then just some Shoulders, all right. I don't know what this is gonna be like, but I'm ready to open my eyes and see. <laughs> that's, that's not so bad, that's pretty funny actually. So I, I have some extra space up here at the top, but that's all right. My mouth went off a little bit, but guys, I'm gonna show you how you can take this silly drawing and turn it into something that looks really, really cool. Now, at your house, you have whatever supplies you have. You might only have a pencil, that's okay. You might have some scissors. You might have crayons, you might have markers. Anything that you have, I want you to use it. I'm just gonna give you suggestions of different things that you can do, different ways that you can um, complete this artwork. All right. Okay, so I have some markers that I'm gonna start with on mine, but remember, you can use whatever you choose. Now, and, and when we are together in the art room at school, a lot of times we trace things first with a black marker. That would be a fun thing to do. So if you had a black marker, you could just make all the lines black. I might show you uh, something with that um, in a minute. But for this one, I thought it would be kind of fun if I pulled out a bunch of colorful markers and went over my pencil lines with a lot of different colors. So this way, I am really making this not realistic at all, right? And that's okay. Now here's the thing, you can't cheat. Wherever you put those lines, I want you to go over them. So leave it like this because this is really fun, actually. It's really fun uh, to get to see how kind of wild and crazy these turn out to be. So I challenge you, as you are tracing these today, don't change any of the lines. And even though you might think right now that that's like, oh, that, that looks really weird, give it a chance. It might look really fun once you're done, okay? So I am just going over 
the lines I made, I'm trying to be careful not to add any extra parts. Okay, so I'm gonna trace all of this uh, with markers and then I will show you the next step. Okay, so I now have my fabulous self-portrait outlined really colorfully because that's how I chose to do it. But remember, you can pick your own way. And now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some crayons and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna start coloring in some areas. Now, I'm choosing to not do this with realistic colors. If you chose to do this with realistic colors, would that be okay? Yes, absolutely, you get to choose, right? Um, but I'm choosing to do this bright and colorful. So in just a moment, I'll show you um, a different way that you could create this self-portrait or finish it off, I guess, because we've already created it by drawing it. Um, and I'll show you that in just a moment. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm just coloring and then I will come back and I will show you the finished product of that and let you decide how you would like to finish yours. All right, so here I am with my finished colored product. Now, I could leave it just like this. Um, I could even cut it out. I could cut this white background off of it, glue it onto something else or leave it or I could color or paint or do something fun in the background, but I wanted you to see what that looks like now that I've got all the color on it. It's pretty wild, isn't it? Um, so this is one fun thing that you can do with it. You can make it totally um, wild and fun and add all kinds of fun colors to it. Or I'm going to show you one other way, one other idea I had of how you can finish this off. Okay, so here is a second blind contour self-portrait that I drew, and I it's just as lovely as the first, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to take a black marker this time, and I'm gonna make really thick black lines. Now, if you have a black marker or even a black crayon or something like that in your house, you can kind of either push down and make them real thick, or you can color to make them as thick as you want them to be. Now remember, I'm going over the lines that I drew. I'm not changing them. Um, I am making them a little bit thicker than they were, but I am keeping my original drawing. Now, what this is gonna do with this really thick black line is it's going to help it be really bold and graphic looking which I think is a lot of fun. Something that you could do with this, if you decide to go over it with a big, that thick black line, one thing that you can do is you can color it like we did before, or you could leave it black and white like this, and you could just color the background and leave your portrait really bold and black and white. Or you could cut it out and you could glue it onto another paper or you could glue it um, onto like, you could cut up a box. Like if you had a cereal box, like an old cereal box or something, you could glue this onto there. That might look kind of cool. Um, you could paint the background if you had some paint. So many fun things that you could do with this, but look how neat it looks just with the thick black line outline. I guess I do have another little line up here I need to go over, don't I? Oh, and right here too. That's the fun of it, is it may not all look <laughs> perfect, but it's not supposed to, isn't it? That's a lot of fun. I think that looks gorgeous. I can't wait to see what different ways you guys come up with to finish out your portraits. All right, so I decided to put some glue on mine and I had a black piece of paper. I couldn't find any color paper at my house, that's okay. I found a fun piece of black paper to glue it to. So this is a really neat black and white finished product. I could still add color to it, couldn't I? I can't wait to see what y'all come up with. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna put my email address in here for your parents and if you complete one of these, I would love to see it. They can snap a picture of it and send it to me at that email address and I'll be able to see it and respond back to you guys. 
I am so glad that we got to create together today. And you know what? There will be more to come in the next few weeks. And I will see you again really soon.